Hi there, I am Raluca and today I want to talk about color theory applied in makeup of course because that's what I do. I feel like most of you struggle to do colorful looks because you're afraid that the colors won't go well with each other so today I'm going to explain to you how to use colors and how to pair them so everything looks good and well blended at the end. Let's get started! Today I'm going to use my Zulu palette to explain to you um, everything. <laughs> The first thing that you need to have in mind when you are uh, trying to blend colors is actually the color circle and this is very useful in makeup especially when it comes to blending colors but also to figure out which color makes your eye stand out. If two colors are opposites on the color circle, so for example we have blue and we have orange. They are opposite colors. They are actually called complementary colors. And for example, for me, I have blue eyes. Orange makes my eyes stand out the most because it creates that kind of contrast with my eye color. Primary colors are, of course, blue, red and yellow. And you can create any color using those three colors. So if you don't have an orange, for example, you can mix a red eyeshadow with a yellow eyeshadow and you're going to get a, an orange eyeshadow, <laughs> not a fruit. <laughs> also another important thing when you're blending colors is that if you try to blend two complementary colors, they're going to get neutralized, let's say, uh, and they're going to basically create a shade of brown, like a muddy brown. I'm going to uh, show you an example on my hand. So let's take uh, purple and yellow, they're complementary colors again. So I'm going to take a little bit of purple and I'm going to place it on my hand. Over it I'm going to go with the yellow. See like it's it's kind of it's creating this muddy color. To transition from uh, purple to yellow you kind of need a, an in-between shade and that can be either this red here that you can kind of blend into the yellow although the ideal case would be a purple um, red, orange and then yellow but in some cases you can do you can blend the red into the yellow and it's going to create an orange in the middle because they kind of mix in the middle and you don't need to apply that additional orange shade I hope I made myself clear and by looking at the color circle we can go from purple to yellow also by applying uh, purple, blue, green and then yellow. So that can be an option too. But in makeup I feel that like the most common transition is from purple, red, orange, yellow because it creates that kind of a sunset type of makeup look which is quite popular. And another example would be like how would you go from blue to orange because they're complementary colors. You would go like purple, red and then orange if that makes sense. <laughs> so yeah, you kind of need to transition through some shades to get two complementary colors in one look. That's the case when you want to blend the colors to each other. For example, if you're doing a cut crease, you can easily apply like purple in the crease, cut the crease and then apply yellow on the lid because you don't need to blend the colors into one another. So that can be a great option too. I'm going to show you in a look how I do this kind of a combo, that kind of a sunset type of an eye look. So let's get started with the application. I'm going to blend this crease. I have foundation on my lid by the way. So let's see, I want to start with the purple and blend it into the yellow somehow. So I'm going to take the purple first. This is the Morphe M149 brush. This is gonna go fairly low in my crease because I want to have the space to blend some colors up to the yellow. I'm going to do a cut crease just to um, to show you more options, let's say. And I'm going to apply the purple on the other corner as well. I'm going to dust the excess of my brush and uh, kind of blend the edge here just a little bit. And I won't apply the yellow right now because, like I said, it's going to mix with the purple and it's going to create that muddy color. It won't be a nice blend. 
So I'm going to pick up this reddish kind of pink because that's going to mix very beautifully with the purple that we have going on. And this is a Morphe M507. You kind of need small brushes for this because when you apply like three, four shades in your crease, unless you have a really huge lid space, you won't be able to blend that many colors without getting into your brow. <laughs> this is going to go above this purple. And they blend really nicely into one another, creating a very smooth transition. I'm going to take the previous brush and go over this transition to really get a smooth blend. And now I can go straight into the yellow because as I said, yellow combined with this kind of a red is going to create an orange in between them. So I'm taking the yellow on a Morphe M506. If you have enough lid space, you can also apply an orange and then yellow. Uh, I feel like that would make a really great blend. But I can't do that. <laughs> so I don't know if you can see, I'm going to zoom a little bit closer. I don't know if you can see the orange created here. I'm taking the shade, dusting off the excess and then applying. And the yellow blends easily into my skin, because it's a very light shade. I forgot to mention that I did the same thing on my lower lash line. Basically, I used the same colors. I'm taking a little bit more of that red, because it, it's lost uh, the intensity while blending. And I'm just going to go over it and intensify it again. And that's the blend. I'm going to cut the crease right now. I'm going to use my KVD Vegan Beauty Concealer because I hate it on my under eyes. It looks so cakey and just not cool. <laughs> so I, I want to find a use for it. And I'm going to use it for cut creases. I hope it works for this. Now that we've basically separated the crease purple from the lid, uh, we can use whatever color we want on our lid and to show you that we can do that, I'm going to use the yellow. This is a Morphe M124 brush and I picked up that yellow. And since we we're not blending it into the purple, we can safely use it here. But here, in the other part, we need a transition again because I can blend this yellow into this uh, purple from the other corners. And just to mix it up a little bit, I'm going to apply this shade to transition from the purple to the yellow. And taking the purple again and applying that to my other corner and blending it into the shimmer. I think I would have liked the matte a lot better, but hey, we're here. Okay, I finished my makeup off camera and this is how it's looking right now. I really hope you learned something from this video. And if you found it useful, don't forget to give it a thumbs up down below. And also, you can comment below what other subjects you want me to speak about or what tutorials you want me to film. So yeah, I want to thank you so much for watching today's video and I hope I'll see you in my next one. Bye!